Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an unboxing of one of the monthly subscription boxes. The boxes are a collaboration between Secreté and Gooders Uit My Art. It's a monthly box and it's filled with all sorts of goodies suitable for journaling. So let's start. There's a big focus on sustainable packaging, reusable packaging, and to not use single-use plastics. So the box is a recycled box. Uh, this is a little tag just indicating what box it is. This is the second box, so the box for January. Uh, and then this is a detailed little sheet of craft paper, which can be used in the journal. And then, let's see. So there's a big folder. It's bigger than A4, so 35 by 25. That's reusable and it's in a floral design. And then let's see, there's some goods inside. Take that out. In fact, I'm going to take everything out the box and then just lay it to one side and then we can have a look at the item. So there we go. It's a mixture of handmade and new embellishments. There's some vintage elements, um, everything sort of in a vintage romantic style and as I mentioned, very suitable for journaling and junk journaling. I'm going to start with the first one. Again, it's reusable, um, based on the stamp it appears to be a tag bundle. It's a selection of neutral tags. The big tags are 16 by 8 centimeter, and then there's some craft tags, all blank, some ever dyed paper, and some coffee dyed paper tags. So there's 13 tags all together in the little tag bundle. We then have a little reusable plastic container with a mix of paper clips. So that is the mix of paper clips. There's 17 clips excluding the little paper die cut ones. So these look really cute just as a little novelty addition on the page. They don't really hold anything but they act as tabs or just add some texture on the page. We have two mini minis. They're just over a centimeter big and there's some of the bigger novelty. This is a letter. There's a camera. Diamond. And again, love letter. And then four of the tiny pastel bull clips and some gold teardrop shape paper clips. There's a fine tip glue bottle that's refillable and it's got a little cap and that works well for precision gluing. We try and add some samples to the box. So this is a length of lick and stick craft paper. So this, for example, it takes to stamping while it can be cut and then it's gummed on the back, if you can see the uh, gum. So that sticks flat on a page um, and they work very well to cut or create your own postage stamps. Next is a pack of stickers. Uh, these are in the pink colorway and these 40 stickers. So this is a yellow colorway, but they are see-through so for example they would look very nice on one of the tags as an embellishment because it they seem to just float on the tag they're quite a good size in the region of six to eight centimeters long the stickers have an acetate backing um, and the acetate can be stamped. So they add quite another interesting layer if you overlay them over the original sticker. 
The box also includes a vintage pattern. So this one is clearly from the 70s, judging by the outfit. Um, and it's got all the papers inside too. So those work well for making pages or strengthening pages, general collage. We then have a selection of items made, embellishments and cards for journaling. So we start off with a little index card. It's got a tuck spot so that can be glued, taken off. And then it's embellished with some lace, little vintage tag and stamped perfect for writing. This is a layered cluster using an original stamp and button with some tags and a bit of lace. It's on a journaling card so it can be used as is or it can be taken off and the card used separately from the little dangle. This is a fabric tag. There's a video on the site to show how these are made. So they're embellished with some lace and stamping. And then they just clip on. Little embellished seed pocket. Let's see if it's in here. So there's some flat back. Resin roses and some little pearl flowers. There's 12 altogether, and the, again, the packaging can be used in your journaling too. Here's a little folder, so that opens up and flips open nicely. Decorated inside with some stitching, a little notepad, and it's filled with some tags and little embellishments, and then it tucks in again. It's also perfect for tucking into a pocket or just fastening on the page as a journaling spot and to keep some bits and pieces in. Here's a little pockety folder, so that opens up and that comes out and then there's some um, ephemera and die cuts and then that can be used or clipped onto the page with one of the paper clips. This packaging is also quite clever, we often receive orders and things in these little cellophane bags um, and having a little flap tuck over it means that can go over a journal page and you can still catch some things or have a little shaker or something like that in the little bag so at least you reuse some of your packaging. So on a journal page with the paper clip that little flap hooks over the page and then there's things at the back, private writing space, and you could have some little novelty, some movement, because it acts as a pocket. And then the last item is a big bundle of things, so let's open this up. So it's a, a packet of pockets. There's some highly embellished and then the tag that fits in, and that's with vintage book paper. A little folder. And that's got a whole set of alpha stickers, other items, in there for journaling. Tiny little pocket with a little leaf journaling card. Again, nicely embellished little envelope with a journaling space, vintage map pocket with a layered tag, and then with this pocket and the circle on the layered tag, 
that tucks in, the circle tucks in through the notch in the pocket, which actually gives a very nice effect on a journal. And then there's a little layered wage envelope, and it's got a little ticket, and some vintage cigarette cards of South African flora. And then these four large pockets from vintage music paper, and they're all hand embellished uh, with some three-dimensional items, stickers, washi, some stamping and some bling, quirky little items. These pockets are quite big, again, uh, 10 and a half by 12 and a half, perfect. Probably for some of these big tags to pop into once they're embellished. Envelope pocket. That's got the lick and stick paper. So it's really nice to wrap around. It also is good to reinforce pages of a spine on a journal and it stamps. And then you just don't put adhesive where you want a little pocket. And then it's quite a flat pocket that it makes. So this little uh, packet of pockets has 10 pockets in. So that's it for the unboxing for the January subscription box. Uh, there's a limited amount of boxes available each month. Please have a look on the Facebook page uh, for details on how to subscribe to this box. The boxes are 240 Rand and 50 Rand pet Paxi postage. Happy journaling and thanks for watching.